birthplace of Chuck Yeager sign. Oh. Hey y'all, my name is Adina Barnett Miller, but I'm known to my students as Mrs. B. I've been passionate about West Virginia history for as long as I can remember, but my mom would tell you it all started when I was three years old and she bought me a West Virginia County's puzzle at Gino's Pizza. I've taught history in Ripley, West Virginia for over 20 years now, and I'm an adjunct professor who teaches college West Virginia history to high school students. Please join me for West Virginia History with Mrs. B, a field trip across the mountain state to walk in the footsteps of those who came before us. talked about last week in Dayton and so as you can see there's a nice picture of Chuck Yeager at the top of this memorial and you can see it says it's dedicated to all those who served our country both in war and peace to keep our country free and we owe you a debt of gratitude so it gives a little biography about Chuck Yeager uh, which we'll talk about here shortly let's talk a little bit about Chuck Yeager on the biography given by the Lincoln County Commission. He is the home son of Lincoln County. He was born in 1923 in Mara, West Virginia, and in 1941, September 12th, so even before the attack on Pearl Harbor, he enlisted in the Army Air Corps, because remember, the Air Force is not going to be a separate branch until Korea. He was selected for pilot training um, under the Flying Sergeant Program, he received his pilot wings and was appointed as a flight officer in 1943 at Luke Field in Arizona. 1943, he's going to fly P-51s in combat against the Germans. He downed 13 German aircrafts and he returned to the United States in 1945 to Wright Field in Ohio, which is where we were last week at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio, as a maintenance officer in the fighter test section. In January 1946, Yeager attended the test pilot school at Wright Field. This led to subsequent selection as a pilot of the nation's first uh, research rocket. And so he was sent to Murak Air Force Base in California to be the project officer, of course, for the Bell XS-1. And so he will pilot that. And on October the 14th, 1947, he broke the sound barrier. He became the first, the world's first supersonic pilot. And during the next four years, he flew the X-1 more than 30 times. He exceeded 950 miles per hour and was above 60,000 feet above the ground. He was the first American to make a ground takeoff in a rocket-powered aircraft. And in 1953, he flew the LX-1 at 1,650 miles per hour. And he became the first man to fly at nearly two and a one and a half times of the speed of sound. And so he has flown over 200 types of aircraft, has had more than 13,000 hours in fighter aircraft. And in 19, on October 14, 1997, after landing his F-15, and after 55 years and one month in the Air Force cockpit, he retired as a consulting test pilot for the Air Force Flight Test Center at Edwards Air Force Base. And in May 1985, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Ronald Reagan. And so the citizens of Lincoln County are super proud of their native son, uh, Chuck Yeager. And so this is the sign and the monument that they put here on Quarter G as you're headed southward to pay honor to Brigadier General Chuck Yeager. So this side lists the different people who donated um, to this monument. So he is a hometown boy done good. Thanks y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to West Virginia History with Mrs. B on both Facebook and YouTube.